It's not Washington, D.C., but there are lots of federal workers here and at the main post office in Cincinnati. The vaccine mandate is not getting a stamp of approval. To me, it should be everybody's choice to take the uh, shot. Rather than get the vaccine, you'd rather have them fired. It's other jobs. You know, um, if I have to find another job where I have the freedom to make that decision whether I want to get the shot or not, then that's what I'm going to do. Would you be willing to quit or have them fire you over the issue? I wouldn't be, no. I mean, I don't want to lose my benefits and stuff. President Biden is tightening the restrictions on his earlier vaccine mandate for federal workers. Do you expect legal challenges to come? Absolutely. I've, I've started to see legal challenges um, anyway. Um, I just think you're going to see a lot more, especially if, if the federal government starts to fire people because they don't have it. Jason Philobom right. is a former prosecutor. He says there are still medical and religious exemptions to pursue, but for those who want to fight the vaccine mandate. My biggest advice is do not quit. Uh, if you have an issue with taking the vaccine and you're being mandated, do not quit. Make the employer fire you if that's your choice. Philobom says the case will be stronger if an employee is terminated rather than voluntarily leaves on a mandate that has those who handle the mail here now interested in the letter of the law. Yeah, now Philobom describes this as a game of chicken as we approach a deadline at some point. He says there will be either mass vaccinations, there will be mass firings, or everyone will just ignore the deadline. We're just going to have to wait and see how it all pans out. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. All right, Brian, thanks for